How many days has it been? Oh boy, we need a miracle today, a stellar miracle. The new Japanese set is upon us, featuring brand new Pokemon. We got uh, Terrapagos featured front and center right there. There's a little guy just hanging out, just being cool. Little turtle homie. Boxes, brand new set, brand new in Japanese. We're already at Scarlet and Violet number seven. That's kind of nuts to me. These boxes, if you're interested in getting one yourself, these boxes are brought to you by, and I know it's going to sound a little crazy, by Pokey and E. Hell yeah, he wanted to support the channel. He was willing to help keep the stuff going. I want to open more products and he definitely made that happen i do have a code if you're wanting to save a little bit of money yourself it's going to be opossum hit that promo code at the checkout you get five dollars off any order above 50 bucks and you get a free booster pack with that as well we'll see how it goes yeah i know that's not really something that people saw on their uh 2024 bingo card wait till you see what i got playing with shiv the opossum shiv the oh shiv podcast that's gonna be kind of nutty as well right that'll be a little uh little treat for everybody but now nah. new set Appreciate it. Once again, the link will be in the description below. Opossum will save you $5 and $50 order or more. Feel free. Thank you, Brian, once again. Let's get ripping. Let's get racking. And new sets, baby. All right, standard booster box, which means we got 30 packs. You know, same going to be as the, the booster box are right here. Let's just stop talking. Let's get rolling. Let's get ripping. Brand new stuff. The big gimmick for this set right here is they introduce stellar type Pokemon. When we come across one, I will show you what stellar type Pokemon do. Hey, look at that. It didn't even take me very long. We have stellar Galvantula right there. So, the big thing is they are stellar now, which is a new mechanic that Scarlet Violet introduced. You got your stellar border right there, and it's kind of hard to tell. You may be able to see. But the borders of these are now kind of rainbow-fied. They look a little bit different. Also, you'll notice different energies being used for certain attacks. It's basically like these are like super powerful, good Pokemon. Galvantula is good, but the Lapras in this set is anticipated to be a real home run right there. Let me get you some plastic. Yeah, no fancy sleeves. We'll just figure that out eventually. The first pack, we already got a Stellar. So that's the, the gimmick still. We still get ARs. We still get SARs. There are some beautiful arts in this set. Lil Leap. We got Fido, we got ourselves a Crab Brawler. Ooh, we got ourselves a nice little uh, Raging Bolt right here. They kept some of the ancient Pokemon around, hell yeah. But the art on these sets are really good, and I really do think some of the special arts are gonna be some of the best ones. Lacey, I think, is the big one a lot of people want for her SAR. She is very playable, being a draw supporter. There is also a couple badass ones. Maybe we'll see one, maybe we won't. We got Rhyperia right there. Look at Rhyperia. I don't know if Rhydon necessarily needed an evolution. Big homie got one, and who are we to compare and complain with like the Pokemon company dishing out that kind of stuff? we got we got marowak looking pissed off as fuck i would be too honestly we got fletchling we got ourselves a rat boot kicking some berries around doing cool stuff we got ourselves a is there something else back there kind of looks like there's something back there got a milsery and we'll see what we got Ooh, we got cinderace right there i got cinderace stellar so we got i think you get two stellars per box i think is the pull rate for that from what i've seen and it, it wouldn't be a pokemon set without some fucking foot fetish i'm just saying right there i mean we got <laughs> i know that's kind of the whole thing with cinderace but uh yeah the, the feet are right there that's all i can focus on that was another stellar type you can tell by the banner and of course the rainbowified stuff yas and all that good things we got ourselves a dub wool got ourselves a little leap got ourselves an electabuzz really really close to the camera too it's a little scary i love electabuzz though i do love a good uh good old electabuzz time phalanx Ooh, a Ladian. This this is an actually really good hollow too. It's very Wizards of the Coast in my opinion. Very, very good. Masako Tomei did, drew this one, so I mean, they, they did a good job. I like this hollow a little bit. The hollows are even a treat. In my opinion, of course, you might hear Virginia. She's kind of watching me open some of the stuff too. She's uh, interested in the new set. She might pop in every now and again. He's here. I'll put in your little uh, Cleffa if you say something. Togedemaru, got Red Boots. Ooh, Carvine, look at, look at him. Freaking scary. He's just watching you from the woods. I know what you did. I know what you did, big dog. Crab Brawler. Ooh, that is a fantastic. That is a Milsery AR. Milsery hanging out with a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see. There's a, some uh, some Easter eggs in here. We got a Pikachu. 
We got a Jigglypuff. We got, you know, more Pikachu stuff. Pikachu again. There's all kinds of little uh, things. There's a lot of Pikachus. I saw a post on Instagram where someone was talking about all that. That is fantastic. That is a great art. Dasuke drew this one. I'm sorry if I uh, butcher your name. It's D-S-U-K-E. I'm, I'm sorry. That is great. That is great art. All right, come out swinging with this set, man. It's, it's good times. It's good times in Pokemon. I know Scarlet and Violet has failed to win over everybody just yet. I mean, we'll we'll see as time goes on. But I truly do think Pokemon is making some good moves. I think I think things are working out well. We got ourselves a clink clank. And I think as time goes on, as the art goes in, as like Pokemon starts introducing, you gotta remember we're only at year two. Year three of Scarlet and Violet's not even upon us yet. And who knows? Who knows what that's gonna bring? We got a slow king levitating some sticks and some rocks, trying to clean up nature, I think. Got ourselves an Electabuzz, got a Meltan. I like Meltan's little self. It's a, we, they, they like putting Meltan and Melmetal in sets. We got a Menfu, punching and kicking and stuff. Ooh, we got a Noctowl. So this is a beautiful, beautiful art card right here. This is fantastic. We got hoarding stuff, hoarding bottle caps and berries and twigs and all kinds of stuff. This is beautiful. They've been treating Noctowl very well. And Gen 2 has been getting a lot of love lately and you can't, can't be mad about that. I really do think, uh, I think Gen 2 is like Gen 1's like forgotten cousin who is like a little bit better, at least in my personal opinion, Grabominable. I would really like to see them expand on Gen 2. I mean, everyone likes Kanto. Everyone likes Charizard as much as the next guy. Look, I, I get it. I understand. I even think Charizard fans, you see the reaction to that freaking premium collection that's coming out? There are people that are like, man, this is some some weak stuff. Caracosta, hey. Got, a, I guess, Tortuga, or a Tortuga's in this set as well. I know Lily was. I didn't realize Tortuga was. Yeah, there's people that are like, this is like the worst product of the year. This is going to be, and that's crazy considering it's July, and there's still five more months of them to put out some really crappy product. We got ourselves a Melmetal. We got Cubone. We got Slowpoke. Ooh, under the sea. Looking at all that. That is beautiful. Hanging out, cleaning up the coral reef like a good little buddy does. Ooh, got an A-spec down there. Oh, oh, oh. We got Glam Meow. Ooh, we got the Tree of Life, very uh, Elden Ring right now, very uh, Tree of Mana, very things like that. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. A spec cards, one per box still. Can't be mad, can't be mad, can't be mad, can't be mad. Getting good pulls, getting new sets, coming out and checking out new art. That's uh, that's my favorite part of stuff. We got Swallow. Ooh, he is about to eat the fuck out of that tire. I think he is ready to eat some gar. Hey, if he's he's cleaning up the planet, a lot of cleaning up the planet I've seen. In this one, we got the Tertuga Fossil. We got Charger Bug. Ooh, we got Rotom Fan hanging out. He's a, I'm a big fan of Rotom Fan. Ha ha. Ooh, we got the, the crystal, the crystal arena. We got where Seat the Scaleless hangs out, I suppose. Just can't see crystals without uh, thinking of that area because that area gave me a lot of problems. The invisible areas, the invisible uh, pathways and stuff took me, took me longer than it should have. We got Kofu given like a, heh, this is the set. This is what you get. This is what you got. Uh, open it from a set. You want more? Yeah, fuck off. We got the Diplin. Ooh, yeah, little, little Applins of all form. One of the good new ones. We got a Rhyhorn. We got a Drifloon. Ooh, we got a Cradali. Look at that guy. I haven't seen a Cradali card in a minute. This one looks good. That is a nice art. It's uncommon, I know, but you gotta appreciate stuff like this too. Ah, more art, more cracking, more looking. Speaking of good art, and speaking of uh, Applin, there is a beautiful Hydrapple card in this set. Looks uh, very much like a vase from Hercules. Looks like something that you would see in that. It is beautiful. It's actually my chase card from the set. If that happens to show its face, I'd be very happy. Not expecting anything. I'm expecting two regular full arts, and that's like what I'm getting from these boxes. But you never know. Japanese luck is uh, it's a little different sometimes. We got Crispin hanging out. We got Clink. We got a very fat per ugly just, <laughs> just lounging about. Just like, yeah, can't be bothered to do any of that stuff. They're not cleaning up the environment. That's for sure. They got the creepy carnvine once again. And we got some Luminion in a, why are we looking at the ass of a, a fish right there? I don't, I'm not a fan. Turn them around, please. I'm not, I'm trying to, I didn't realize Luminion had a tail. More packs, more pulls. Got more stuff in this box right here. Let's see what we get. Electivire, my boy, my man. Got Rhydon, my boy. Got Grubbin, my man. We got Hoot Hoot. And we got the Trumpet of Truth or something. The, the Trumpet of, uh... The trumpet of the ancients you get this right here they polished it up and restored it i don't know what you're gonna do with that trumpet but there you go you got a card for it i'm sure it's something semi playable in the game we got briar she also has a great sar card as well that would be awesome to pull we got tertuga hanging out got ourselves an impidimp got the road on the scary scary lawnmower road i already have enough fears of like lawnmowers and stuff like that i didn't really need this to help that out 
Ooh, we got Eldegoss. Eldegoss. Forget about you sometimes. Oh, I remember. You're, you're Milo's ace Pokemon. Don't for, don't think I forgot about Milo. Don't think I forgot. I just... You, you forget that this one exists sometimes. Okay, we got Min Shao. Nice. I really do like Min Shao a lot. We got the the Wreath Pokemon. I forget. It's like a low... A low... A moa... A low... Hello, uh, no, I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking of like a Loa Moa or something like that, but I th I'm pretty, it's like figured out, I don't know. We got Mongrum, we got Diplin, ooh, we got a Crispin, we got a trainer card, we got ourselves a four. Hey, I will take a trainer card any day of the week, and I will take any kind of full art trainer that they want to throw at me. These are my favorite cards to collect. I will take that. That's not a, not a bad pull. Crispin. Fire type of the Blueberry League. That's a uh, that's a good one. I, I do like his funny name. How he, what he got? We got ourselves a all crimmy. Got ourselves a Slandit Fletchling, a uh, Charger Bug, ooh, and an Iron Boulder, keeping the future and Iron uh, and the ancient Pokemon around and the Pokemon of the Ancients. What we got next? What do we got? Comfy. That's that's what it was. I'm pretty sure Virginia said it back behind me. She's the she's the real Pokemon fan, but uh, it, it came to Salazzle. Right there, we got a, a, a fossil, a root fossil. We got ourselves a glam meow with the twisted tail around that. We got ourselves a lady ba. And Crispin, we got your regular version. I don't need you anymore. I got your full art. What we got, what we got, what we get, what we get. What's coming from the boxes, baby? What we gonna get? Hey, you never know. Japanese boxes could still be heavy. We got the, the, uh, what are you? The uh, fucking uh, Talon Flame. God, I'm losing track of like Pokemon names right now. I don't know why. All that walking I'm doing. Meditite. Ooh, Turtonator. The Turtonators come. Fletchadier. Lacey. There we go. You're the nice one that everybody wants. The draw supporter for days. Fairy type user. And confirmed, to my knowledge, to be Clay's daughter. They have that. They both ace Excadrill, so that would definitely make sense. Crabominable. Got a Duralodon. It'd be nice to see your evolutionary line in here. You have a beautiful AR. Got Slowpoke cleaning up shit once again. Got Fletchadier. Ooh, a nice knockdown. Yeah, very, once again, this is very much reminding me of Watt C, like some of these hollows right here. That is very beautiful. I'm even getting a regular kick out of the hollows out of this stuff. Woohoo. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see what else we can get a kick out of. Togedemaru. We got Slandit. We got Clink. We got a Milsuri. Ooh, the Dosh Bun right here. Ain't very angry. Why are you so angry at me? I didn't do anything. Cool though. You also have a very nice SAR, which would be cool to pull. There's, like I said, this set's loaded. Loaded with fantastic art, so, you know. It's, it'd be nice to get some of them. We'll see. We got uh, we got ourselves a uh, fucking Grimmsnarl. Got a Gossifleur. I want to say Mongrum for some reason. And then we got Choodle. We got a Comfy. You're Comfy now. That's what you are. And Veluza. I know Veluza though. Why do I know Veluza and not uh, not Comfy? That's a great question. It's a fantastic question. I think Veluza is just funny. In the game, Veluzas will just like fucking hunt you down no matter where you are in the ocean. They'll just charge right at you. We got Pangoro, we got a Rhyhorn, Turtonator, Meltan, little Meltan hanging out, and some kind of stone, if I had to guess, like a Dusk Stone or something, if I had to guess. Five more packs, I still think we got a couple hits in here, I think there's still a couple things we can get, the Stupid Trumpet again, a Phalanx, the boys hanging out, Mongrum, got a Finneon, and an Orthworm, the, the one that uh, <laughs> a lot of people are really not too fond of i think orthworm's a little goofball i kind of like him though kind of think he's a little goofy he definitely has a goofy face i, I get what y'all are saying he's kind of sick though i kind of like him what is next what is next what is next what are we getting out here we're almost done with this box we'll move on tornadus we got ourselves a score bunny joltic a uh pancham Ooh, that is a good one that's the joltic art look at that little buddy look at that little homie no you're happy for this Look at him. The little. He's so small compared to everything else. Three more packs. I believe that was everything I could get from this box, but I guess we'll see. We got Tornadus. Uh, we got Tortuga, Joltik, the Score Bunny, and the very unhappy Marowak. Two more packs. What do we get? I don't know if you can still get heavy Japanese boxes. I mean, I haven't in a minute, but I still think that possibility exists. I guess we'll see what happens, but hey, new set. New cards, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Either way, we're looking at new art. We got Buffalant, we got uh, Clink Clank. Yeah, that's Clink Clank, not, wait, no. That's Clank, your Clank. Clink Clank is the hollow, that's, that's <laughs> we got Finneon, we got Pancham, and we got Lacey, so no double box here. One more box, big dogs. Ooh. All right, and 30 more, baby. 
30 more. Let's see what we can get. Another fresh box and fresh arts. Fresh cards to pull. Let's see if we can get it's the Slow King. Little Leap. We're going to go a little bit quicker on some of these ones. Crab Brawler. We got Cradali. If I see anything that I haven't seen or a little bit noteworthy or something funny, we'll, we'll pause that a little bit. But we've seen a little bit of the art. The stupid stone. Ooh, that's a that's cool Wooloo. Did I say anything about Wooloo last time? It's a cool Wooloo. I like that. We got Impidimp. We got the, the Cubone, which they seem to love just bringing up Cubone all the time. Pangoro. Let Cubone be. Just let the little homie have his time. You like Cubone. I mean, Cubone is kind of popular, though. I get it. He, he's, a, he's a nice little popular. The, the Kofu, once again, just shrugging away. Got the, the Fossil. Got the Apple. Got Chin Chow. Ooh, we got Zeraora. He also had a pretty cool AR that I saw people pulling. It's a very nice one. A ton of cool arts in the set, actually. I mean, any of the ARs, like, pulling them, I don't think there's, like, a bad one in the bunch. There really hasn't been a bad AR card you can pull, at least in my personal opinion, in a little while. Let's go. Uh, Men Shao. Also, with how they're going up, too, like, there's a lot of people confused about why the art rares are just getting so crazy valuable. And on one hand, like, I get them because they are very nicely drawn cards, all creamy. I do understand that for the art. It's just the rarity, especially so. Okay, so they're not the rarest card in the set. You get like three or four of them in a box, even in like uh, English and all that stuff, too. But some of them just fetch like crazy prices in English right now. We got the Mill Siri again. So nice way to see it twice. Definitely one you can double up on. Not, not so bad. Not so bad. Like explaining to people, especially who aren't here, right? Like I think I've talked about this before. But like they, so people will pull a gold card, right? And they'll wonder why like the gold cards aren't like the, the craziest, like most valuable ones or anything. Oh, uh, I think that might be a pull. Ooh, we got a Galvantula. So this is a stellar full art right here. So it is still a regular full art, but the rainbow borders for that do make it a good little bit better. There is a nice SAR for this card. However, comma, this is fantastic. This one does look really good. I think it's a good improvement from just the regular Terra type ones. At least, at least in my opinion, I think these are a good bit better. I like that. That's really nice. Eh, if you're gonna get a full art, in my opinion, that's a really good one to get. Anyway, heavy boxes, all kind of, you never know. You never fucking know with Japanese boxes. Anyway, so explaining to people, like, with gold, like, why gold's not the most expensive, even the most rare versions of cards, it's very difficult to do, because it was, like, the same thing with rainbow cards, too. Like, oh, why are rainbows tougher to pull, but people like these cards more? And, of course, everyone's like, art this, art that. People love the art of these cards and all that. And to a point, I agree, but it is very difficult to explain that to someone who's in, because, like, oh, they're like, oh, this is fantastic like these gold cards and it's like well yes but no some of them are playable some of them are great for decks but you're not necessarily going to we got the tree of life again considering the vast majority of people are here for like the, the value of cards and stuff like that that's going to appeal to a very limited amount of people it's it's like nah you want the cool alternate art cards and you want like the art rares and the art rares some of them in english i mean y'all y'all seen the shit they're going for some stupid crazy amounts don't get me wrong i do think a good chunk of them will drop i really do think like the the crazy push for like all alternate heart art hype mania isn't going to be the forever fucking thing i think people are kind of taking a little bit advantage of that per per usual people just are kind of but i really do think like the art is what's driving a lot of this stuff and really we haven't got a bad art rare i think that's the the main thing people people really like the arts of some of these and in japanese like especially with it coming out like this and those people getting a good taste in new arts and stuff like that i mean this is the first time you're gonna see a good chunk of these people get really excited when they see i mean especially like this like archiladon right here this is a good example i mean look at this fucking art like, look at this card. This could have been, like, a chase card in a previous set. But this is just one of three that you get in a box. And it's fantastic. Hanging out. Hanging out with the kids. Hanging out with the store. I don't know what he does, like, full time. I'm, I'm sure he has, like, some kind of job or something. But look at that. But yeah, explaining to people that, like, golds are not the the end-all, be-all of sets or rainbows or, like, any of the higher tiers that aren't, like, you know, the, the crazy art rares is, is kind of a hard thing to do. Like, if it's not an art rare, it's not an alternate art rare. Like, it's not an SAR or an SIR. There's a good shot. It's not going to be, like, a card that people are actively chasing. I mean, even if it's, like, a gold version of something. Maybe with stellar types, maybe they'll do something. I mean, this is only year two i mean year three could still roll around we could definitely get some changes and things they could just make some absolutely badass gold cards i mean the last time we had some really really good badass gold cards i think was like crown zenith where it had like the the god quadruplets like the giratina and all that and that was fantastic that was a really good set and i really do think gold cards like that make people excited i did like the ones from shiny treasure ex i personally did but i know a lot of people really weren't a big fan of them i mean karate on your ride on chiyu 
fucking Wo Chen, all those guys, like they're they're struggling to like win people over anyway. So giving and introducing like off the wall gold cards, I don't think really help their case. I personally like them, but once again, they're still trying to win people over. Drift Blim, Fossil, Clam Meow, Lady Ba, Credelli. Credelli, and for sure, for sure, for sure. I, I do think like as as time goes on this I think the best of Scarlet and Violet is yet to come. But I will say the art and the art is going through and just making some crazy cards, some crazy artistic ones. Featuring Pokemon that don't necessarily get featured all the time, giving some new artists a chance to make some breathtaking art. It's, that's one of the best things, in my opinion, that's happened so far with Scarlet and Violet. I think that's going to be what this era is going to be looked back on. Much like, you know, the, the Sky Ridge and Aquapolis and all those eras were looked at really good. It was the art. They, they took uh, artistic liberties and made some really crazy memorable cards. That's how I feel. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Diancy, got us a Fleur, Choodle, got ourselves a Comfy, and a Grim Snarl. Being all crazy. Look at that guy. Even the uncommon arts, even the common arts, a lot, a lot of these are looking really good. A lot of the set is uh is looking is looking fantastic out of this stuff. We got the Luminion, got the Slanded, got the Clink, got ourselves a Milsery, ooh, and a Terrapagos. Look at that guy. The featured mascot hanging out. And all, all rainbow gloried. In the ironic sleeve of plastic you go. That's at least how I feel about the, the Scarlet and Violet. I think people will slowly warm up to it. The time overall is just going to be the, the driving factor for a lot of this stuff. People are going to see the product not on the shelves anymore. And they're going to look at cards like this. They're going to look at Ledian getting fantastic art rares. And just gravitate towards stuff like this. Because this truly is what the Scarlet and Violet era is going to be remembered for. This is fantastic. That was a fantastic art. Me personally, I enjoy that, and I also just enjoy ripping packs too. So once again, thank you so much, Brian. Pokey and E. I'm going to have the link in the description. Feel free to get yourself a box if you want. You spend $50 or more, use code Opossum. Enjoy yourself $5 off, and you know any order above 50 and then you get a booster pack as well. Test your luck with that. I know you fiends love booster packs and cracking them. I think I've, I think I've heard that in the comments before. What else we got? What else we got? Lapras. Ooh, you're the chosen child, I've heard. You're the one that all the competitive decks are uh, really excited about. Lapras has been getting really good treatment, too. I mean, it got good treatment in Sun and Moon, got good treatment in Sword and Shield, and now it's coming back strong as hell in Scarlet and Violet, just as ice types should. Enjoy. Uh, once again, I really appreciate Brian willing to work with me. As much as I'm working with him, and as much as all this stuff has happened, I mean, he's willing to work with me, too. I do appreciate that. Helping make these videos come out, and just, yeah, I appreciate it, dude. Last two packs. Last two things. Let's fucking go. Let's see what we can get. Let's fucking get this bread. Drift Blim. Got a fan. Got the grub. Got the high. The right, right on. Uh, uh, uh. Iron, Iron Boulder. Yeah. That's what I thought. Just a regular hollow. The last pack. Appreciate everybody watching the end. Appreciate everybody who's still here. And once again, feel free to get a booster box yourself. Link in the description. And yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. It is Monday when I'm recording this. So, you know. It, it might be might be a good week, might be a bad week, might be might be a crystal week. You never know. You might this might be how your week goes. Later, guys. Later, virgins. Mm -hmm.